All right, guys, so I know this is going to sound hypocritical and bad because of the last video I posted where I said I won't be summoning for Jingliu. But then, after a few days, you know, I thought about it. I look at my account and I realize, holy crap, I don't have a single good DPS on here. So, I was thinking, and no, Kafka does not count. Um, so, I was thinking, um, you know, we're at, you know... How many pity? 75 pity. If I do this next 10 pull, I'll get a 5 star on this banner. So, I was thinking, maybe I should do a summon. Maybe I should just get one good DPS at least. So, yeah. <sighs> I'm like, why not? I need the damage output. Maybe I can get one of the other 4 stars. You know? This is completely contradictory to my last video where I said I won't be getting Jin Liu, but if I really think about it, who's up next? Topaz. What is Topaz? A hunt character. Are hunt characters good? Yes, if they do good damage. And who's next? Um, but, 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 to but Topaz needs um, follow-up attacks to raise up Numbi, and I don't really like her animations. The basic attack is meh. The follow-up attacks are pretty good, but that's like pretty much the only thing you'll ever see the ult is good but you know it's just there's not much to it is there as for Jing Liu it's much more satisfying seeing those bun seeing a bunch of those slashes those ice slashes the ultimate very cool stuff I don't know and who's next um Huo Huo right Huo Huo's next um abundance win character I mean she looks to be fine but here's the thing, right? All right, so here's the thing. Um, spoilers ahead. So I've heard that her skill cleanses one ally, heals the ally and adjacent and uh, units, um, gains her twelve stacks, which heals three percent every time an ally takes action, or when uses own ultimate, and um, her ultimate gives regenerates 15 percent of allies energy and gives a damage boost but honestly you would want sustain right like the damage is nice but if you're pulling for a sustained character you need a sustained character you don't want someone who's just gonna give you know attack as well for the cost of um, an extra heal off the ultimate or something like that um Lua, which is fine because he dispels debuffs which is really good and his ultimate can be used as another uh, little quick heal during his field. Maybe I'll pull for him when he comes back. Um, Argenti, I mean, he's an Eridition character. I don't know. I just don't have faith. He doesn't look like he has anything he can do if it's just like a, so, uh, a single enemy. Like the Swarm Disaster units, like besides those physical bugs, the tiny ones, the big ones aren't, you know... Most most bugs in the swarm disaster aren't physical weakness, so yeah. Well, neither is ice, but at least Jing Liu would do good damage. We know that so far. Maybe Argenti will do good damage. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't really want to pull for him anyway. I mean, a knight, handsome knight, red hair, long hair, like it's kind of. I don't know, it feels kind of overdone, even though I really can't name anyone who else who looks like him. But <clears throat> enough with the rambling. I think it's time. I really do think it's time I get myself a DPS. So <sighs> hopefully this is Jing Liu. If not, I would want to at least have a Branya. That would be actually pretty good too. If I get a Branya... I'll be okay with that. If I get a Jing Liu, I'll be okay with that. If I get anyone else, um, I'll, maybe I'll be a little salty, but here we go. My first DPS unit. <sighs> Let's see if we can get her. All right, here it is. All right, all right. I'm panicking right now so hard. Asambo, okay. 
I'll take that. That's uh, E4. Two. Oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. That's three fifty fifties one. Oh, my gosh. I mean... You would think this is lucky, right? But I've gotten all my characters past 70 plus pulls. So. Mm. But then again, I'm winning these 50 50s. So maybe spending 70 whole pulls to get one five star character isn't so bad. But yeah, oh my gosh. That's three 50 50s one in a row. That is really good. Holy crap, I finally have my first proper DPS character. Holy crap, and a Sampo Eidolon. Oh my god, this is too good. Wow, I was, uh, I was a bit worried there. I was a bit panicking. I was panicking before this summon, but oh my goodness. I'm so glad this happened. If I didn't win, I would have been pretty salty unless it was Branya, but... We win. And oh my gosh. I gotta take a screenshot of this real quick. There we go. That's beautiful. Jing Liu right there. Holy crap. Well, I guess that was a good decision. Because now we finally have. Let me give this idol on to Sampo first. And oh my goodness. We have her now. Jing Liu right there. This ice beauty. My ice queen. The ice queen. I, the, the, the only problem is I did not prepare for her because this whole thing, this whole summon idea was on a whim. So I did not prepare anything for her. I only have 26 of these purple XP materials. I did not prepare any light cones for her. So I'm thinking the Herda store one did not grind any, um, what's it called? Yeah, oh my gosh, that is not good. I did not grind any destruction materials. Nor did I grind any relics you could see here. This is not for her. Yeah, this is definitely not for her. Effect hit rate, break effect. This is not for her. This is just something I got when grinding the wind, the wind domain. So I do not have anything prepared for her. But maybe in a few days, I'll work hard to make sure she does good. Only problem is... I don't know what the hell light cone to get her. I said the Herda store one, but I don't know how good that'll be on her. You know, why don't we check it out right now? I'll put this in the outro section of the video so you don't have to watch this. This is not where you access it. I'm a big dumbass. Holy crap. Um, or is it this one? Whenever wear attacks, their attack is increased by 8% in battle. This effect can stack 4 times. When the wear inflicts weakness break on enemies, the wearer's damage increases by 12% for 2 turns. Honestly, that is not that bad. Because you get... Well, that's super in position 1. Hold on, what's it at, at like at 5? That's 16, right? Stacks up to 4 times, 64% attack increase after you attack 4 times. Honestly, that's not bad. And increases damage at 24% for 2 turns when you inflict weakness break. Honestly, that is not too bad at all. Obviously, your signature light cone. That is not the right button. Obviously, your signature light cone is much, 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 much better. Because it gives actual crit. And then 3 stacks of this 14%. Unless I'm reading that wrong. No, that is, I am reading that wrong. No, I'm not reading that wrong. And then you ignore 12% defense. That crit damage is pretty good. But honestly, I don't think the Herda Store one would be too bad. Because it actually gives a bunch of um, attack as well. But, yeah, we got it. We got her. Oh my goodness. So we'll, uh, we can ascend this because it's very cheap to do so. I can get her to 30. I definitely can't get her to 40 though. Because I only have, how many of those books? 12 of those books. No, I can But I can't send her again. Cause yeah, I didn't grind. I didn't preform any of the materials. I don't have a single um, of one of those things. But um, you know what? I have three of these. Yeah. You know why don't we just put this as a bonus summon? You know, 
you know, since I'm feeling so good, I'll do three summons, you know. I'm at 60 pity on this thing right now. Uh, am I reading that right? 60, 35, 95, 95, 80, 170, 174, 3, 1, 2, 14. Wait, 174, I'm at. I'm at 60 pity. 174, I'm at 60 pity right now. So, 63, up to 63. This is definitely you. Hell no. Where's my four star? I've done plenty of these. Okay, this next one's my four star. And... Nope. Oh my god. Well, hey, we got Jinyu. That's what we wanted. That's what we we're looking for it and I'm so glad I got her did and I did not lose a 50-50 to someone else like Himako but yeah that'll be it uh, I don't know what else to say I'm not really good at making outros or intros that's why my videos are so awkward uh, but yeah we got her and it was pretty good pretty good feeling very nice feeling actually so I'll be uh, leaving you guys now um, goodbye Thank you for watching, if you're even seeing this. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys um, hopefully next time when I post another video. I don't know. See ya.